over the next week. That's the first step in the process of defueling the Navy's underground fuel storage facility. And as KITV Forest Kristen Concilio reports, after a series of missteps, the Navy is now promising to do everything that it can to keep Oahu's main water source safe. The military will begin removing a million gallons of fuel from pipes starting tomorrow and empty them into barges and above ground storage tanks such as these. It's the first step to eventually emptying more than 100 million gallons from underground fuel tanks at Red Hill. But it's a dangerous operation the Defense Department's hoping won't lead to another major catastrophe, contaminating Oahu's main water source about 100 feet away. In May 2021, while the Navy was moving fuel at Red Hill, a pipeline burst open, spilling more than 19,000 gallons of jet fuel. The most dangerous aspect of this mission is the potential for fuel to enter the aquifer. So everything that we've done, every focus of effort for the planning and the rehearsals has been focused on mitigating any chance of a spill. Most of the fuel in three main pipelines connecting Red Hill to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam will be drained by gravity and the rest vacuumed out. If there is a spill, the DOD says personnel have been trained on how to respond and have installed barriers to protect the water shaft. Let's cross our fingers, everybody, and uh, hope for the best here. Uh, but if there are any problems, I would hope that uh, both the Navy and our regulators will be very forthcoming. I still think there needs to be greater transparency, and uh, I agree that there should be like public participation in the process. The defueling of Red Hill is expected to be completed in mid-2024. We will conduct this procedure safely. Rear Admiral John Wade, commander of Joint Task Force Red Hill overseeing the defueling, says there will be independent oversight by the State Health Department and U.S. Environmental Protection Agency each step of the way. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.